The SW1 must be calibrated before use and should be recalibrated when you move the device or if conditions change. Current SW1s come with a foldable calibration rod. Earlier SW1s came with different calibration rods, but they are all labeled with calibration values for two configurations. When you previously scanned the NFC tag to add your SW1 to the app, the calibration values were set. On the Calibrate tab, verify that they match those on the rod label. The foldable calibration rod hooks into a pocket at the front of the cradle. Prior rods mount in the cradle like a racket, tied against the back wall, and are secured with a strap. If using the extendable rod, unlock it by twisting the end counterclockwise. If you do it slowly, you'll feel four sections unlock. Extend the rod and verify that four internal sections plus the handle are extended. Hang the rod vertically as you lock it by twisting in the opposite direction. I suggest starting with measurements in the extended state as it's easier to collapse it while still mounted in the SW1. On the Calibrate tab, prepare to take a measurement using the button in the corresponding section. The lesser calibration value is associated with the lighter configuration, folded, collapsed, or without weight. Place the phone into the cradle, making sure it's fully seated. To take a measurement, press lightly on the rear of the cradle to rotate the front of the cradle to the left, that's clockwise from above. There's an arrow on the left spring stop to indicate the release side, and current SW1s also have an X on the wrong side spring stop. Tap the corresponding measure button and cleanly release the cradle. After the measurement result updates, stop the calibration rod. Only one measurement per configuration is required for calibration, but I recommend taking at least two measurements of each. Change the calibration rod to the other configuration and take two measurements using the button in the other section. When you have measurements of both calibration rod configurations, the Calibrate button will activate. Tap it to complete the calibration. A confirmation will display at the bottom of the screen and the calibration results will update. If the calibration results are outside of the normal range, the confirmation message will indicate that. One or both calibration results will be highlighted in red, and a description of the problem will be displayed below. For example, if calibrated with the rod only partially extended, that will be noted. Correct the problem and take the calibration measurements again. After a successful calibration, you may validate that the measurements of the calibration rod match the label. From the Measure tab, measure one or both configurations of the calibration rod. You should get measurement results that are within one kilogram centimeter squared of the label values. The more consistent your measurements, the closer the match will be. If your measurements are inconsistent, Review the measurement accuracy section of the in-app guide.